Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha, and today we're gonna to be discussing the topic of what do crowns mean in a dream? So if you're receiving a crown or being crowned in a dream, that's a good thing, typically, depending on what type of crown it is. Now, there are types of crowns in the Bible, there are good and bad ones. So, but in general, normally a crown is gonna represent a symbol of um, authority or the ability to rule and reign. So kingship, it could be a representation of Jesus Christ himself. In Revelation 19, 12, he is the one who received uh, cra many crowns. And um, as he's seated on the throne, it could be a representation of honor. Honor is actually, a crown of honor is actually given to us as believers, um, not just believers, anyone who's born is born with the crown of honor. Uh, it could be a re representation of a reward um, and also representation of the realm of God's government. So it could be a representation of you being a representative of the government of God. So that's on the positive side. Now, crowns can also be negative. So it could be a, a crown of pride or a crown of corruption or the crown of thorns. So if, if any of those kind of things in the way you know, there's certain ways you know um, based on scripture and I might do a different video if, if People are really interested in that, um, the types of crowns and whatnot. But on the positive side, like I said, um, what's happening in the dream? Are you receiving it? Are you being given the, the crown? Um, so just what else, whatever is going on in the dream is going to play a part in what the meaning of that uh, crown um, means to you or what God is communicating to you in that dream. Now, like I said, there's different types of crowns. There's a crown, there's a, a, ro a royal crown, a crown of wisdom, a crown of uh, glory, a crown of um, uh, inc uh, incorruptible crown or imperishable crown or a crown of righteousness, a crown of life, the victor's crown, the crown of, uh, crown of honor, the crown of revelation and knowledge. So there's several different crowns in the Bible that we receive as believers. So it could be that God, you're, you're being promoted or God is calling you to a different realm or you're, you're walking in another level of authority within wisdom, within, um, you know, honor or revelation of, of God or righteousness. So it just all depends, like I said, on the, um, in uh, all the other videos, context is key. It could also be a representation of a reward because we are, it's part of the reward we get, um, for, being here on earth and doing well um, before the Lord. And in Revelations 4.10, you know, we are cast, the elders are casting their crowns before the throne and we are giving count, crowns to cast as well. So it could be a reward uh, depending on what's happening and other elements in the dream. But it's going to be representation usually of government, a uh, authority, authority in the realm of government. And whoever wears the crown carries the mandate to occupy. So like I said, if it's positive, you know, that means you're occupying and the Lord said, occupy till I return. And we rule as kings and priests among for our God, right? So it's, it's a mandate to occupy and rule with the authority in the uh, kingship of Jesus. Now, like I said, if it's negative, the pride, a crown of pride, then obviously there's going to be some humility needed there. Um, or the corruptible crown uh, is a crown of that, that's earned by the flesh and works in religion. And the crown of thorns, Jesus already died. Um, he wore the crown of thorns so that we can be crowned with honor and receive the different crowns he has for us. So like I said, it just depends. And also what color is the crown? Is it silver? Is it gold? Does it have jewels and um, precious stones in it? Is it rusted and ruggy? You know, that's going to play a part as well. Is it a huge crown? Is it a small, dainty one? Um, and is someone trying to take your crown? Because that's the thing too. You know, Jesus said in Revelation 3, 12, 11, let no man take your crown. So just all the other, there's so many dynamics when it comes to crown. I'm probably going to do a different video to explain, um, just kind of a teaching actually on uh, crowns and how to, uh, if your crown has been stolen, how to redeem that back or whatnot. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you are interested in learning more about crowns, just uh, let me know in the comments and I will do uh, extensive teaching on crowns or whatnot and um, the different types that God has given us as his children. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Till next time, be healed, be whole, be free. Bye.